Well, hi, this is Captain Bob with another fun project I'm calling Mars Base One. So let's get started. We'll start with the two pages that you should already have downloaded. One of them is a sheet of solar panels. The other is a sheet of roads and flags. What you'll need is tape, a pencil, Elmer's glue wall, scissors, glue stick, two toilet paper rolls, and some student safe paint and paintbrush. Next, you'll need three halves of round styrofoam balls. You can buy them at Michael's, Joann's, or Walmart. I'm using this 22 by 28 inch orange construction paper. You'll also need to cut a piece of foam board or cardboard 16 by 14 inches in size. Just lay your board on the corner of the construction paper. Then, using a pencil, draw the outline using the sides on the board as a guide. Then just cut along the lines you've made on the construction paper. It's that easy. Now take the first toilet paper roll and carefully cut down the length of it. Turn it over and cut down the opposite side. These will be your tunnels. Take the other roll and cut it the same way. One of the halves will be another tunnel. Cut the last third of the other half. This will be your entrance. Now let's take the sheet with the solar cells. All you need to do is cut each one of these out individually. As you can see here, you have to be careful cutting along the edge of each one. Now when you're done, you'll have three large solar panels and one smaller one. Now we're going to put the solar panel on the larger tunnel half. Just tape one side of it with two pieces of tape. Then slowly work it across until you're over to the other side. If there's any left over, just fold it over and then use two pieces of tape to finish off the other side. And there you have it. These then are the three longer tunnels you'll need. Now we'll move those off to the side and of course you'll have to finish off the entrance tunnel the same way. Now I'm sure you have some small rocks around your house or in your yard. We'll use these for Mars rocks later on. But we're going to paint them first, and this is how you do that. Get a sheet of paper so you don't mess up any table. Get a longer piece of tape and turn it over. It's a little sticky in the middle, but that's okay. You can tape both ends with regular small pieces of tape. Now you can stick the rocks onto the tape and they won't slip off when you're trying to paint. Now here, I'm coloring the rocks orange. You can also put a little bit of red in there too. When you're done, they'll dry and start to look just like Mars rocks. You can get as many rocks as you want, but make sure they're small. Now you need some toothpicks. You can get three or four, and what I want you to do is break each one in half. Find three that are about the same size. We'll use those for flag posts. Now we're going to paint them. Again, get a piece of paper so you don't mess up the table. And then I want you to get some non-toxic paint and paint these posts any color you want. Right here, I'm painting this black. Now you can use paint or even crayons to do it. They don't have to just be black. They can be blue or pink or any color you'd like. And now for making the flags. This is kind of fun, but you have to be careful. Take the page with the flags and cut off the road sections. Now I'd like you to cut out the strips of flags. There are Mars flags and United States flags on here. Just cut along the edges of the flags very slowly and carefully. You can take your time. And once you have the flags cut out, cut off each end of the white paper. And there you have it. Now just fold the flag down the middle in half, just like this. Now you see it's the same on both sides. Now if you make a mistake on cutting the flags, that's okay, because I've included several different ones you can use. Now this one's a Mars flag, which is kind of fun, I'll tell you why. Right here is Mars, but Mars also has two moons, Deimos and Phobos. Kind of interesting. Now we're going to put the flags on the posts you've made. We'll start with this American flag. Just open it up, and on the inside, use your glue stick to put a little bit of glue on both sides. Now, take one of your toothpicks and put it behind the flag. 
all you do is fold the flag around. Now you can see here I'm having a little bit of trouble and you might too, but that's okay. That's why they're extra flags. But you see, it looks like a flag on a flag post. Now once you make all the flags, what you're finally going to have are three. Doesn't matter which ones you use, it's all fun. Just remember the pointy ends are at the bottom. So now we're going to attach the construction paper to the foam board you have, or cardboard. What you do is use your glue stick and just glide it around and make sure there's plenty of glue on there so you can stick the orange construction paper on top and it'll stay. Now to help it stay, you might want to use a little bit of tape. Just tape each corner down to make sure it doesn't come off when you don't want it to. And now for the domes and tunnels. On Mars, you'll have to live in domes to protect you from the elements and to keep the air inside. So let's put these two styrofoam balls down on the board and now we put a connecting tunnel in between. Now to glue it down just put one bead of glue around and maybe make an X in the middle. That's plenty. And we'll do that for the other side as well. Just around once and then an X in the bottom. Now for the tunnel just pick it up, turn it over, and put a bead of glue on each end. That'll connect it to the styrofoam balls. And also do it along the bottom edges as well. Now you see I got a little glue on my hand there, but that's okay. This can wash off very easily. Don't worry about that. Now to help hold the tunnel on, you can use a little bit of tape to attach it. When you're done with that, turn the board around so the other end is facing you. Now take the other two long tunnels and place them on the board, kind of pointing to the end. Place the last styrofoam ball there and glue it down. Last, you'll need the little tunnel and glue it right to the front of the last ball. Now it's time to make some roads on Mars. Take the longer road strips and you can cut these to any length or shape you really want. Cut along to get the white paper off the edges and start looking at the different shapes of roads you'd like to have. One thing that's kind of fun, you take a smaller piece of roadway, use your glue stick to glue the back, and then on the very front of the model, slide it underneath the little short tunnel. That's sort of an entryway area. Next, just lay down the roadway any shape you would like to have it. Now for gluing the rocks down. This is a lot of fun too. Just put a little glue on the bottom of each rock, not a whole lot, and place it where you'd like it to go. Do that for each rock, and you can make different shapes and arrangements of rocks any way you'd like to do it. It's best to leave the rocks alone overnight so they can glue tight. Now it's time to put the flags on top of each dome. Each dome is there for a reason. The entry dome is where you would park your car or put your spacesuits. Another dome would be where you live, and the last one would be your laboratory. In your papers, I've also included a Mars Base 1 label. This you can cut out, put some glue stick on the back of that, and then leave some room in the front of the model that you can put this down, and that'll be the label for your Mars Base 1. There you have it, your own Mars Base. But there's one more thing. Do you have a Hot Wheels toy or a Lego? Try this. All you need to do is print out another sheet of the solar panels. Cut out a small piece about the size of the car that you have and also cut out a small piece of cardboard about the same size. Just put the solar cell on top of that little piece of cardboard and now we'll attach it to the Hot Wheel. Take a look at this. Take a piece of tape and roll it over so the sticky side is on the outside. Put it on one end of the cardboard. Take another piece and put it on the other end. Then just press that down on top and there you have it, your own solar powered Mars car that you can play with. We'll see you on Mars. Keep watching for other projects you can work on. This is Captain Bob signing off.